I've always had a disability. I've always wanted to play football. I'd play for Williamstown Seagulls because it gives me a sense of team, gives me a sense of pride. Pretty much just for enjoyment and uh, mateship. Get down and have a laugh with the mates. Just, just to, like, just to have fun. Oh, this week, hopefully, our boys wake up a bit, concentrate. Um, I hope that we. I just hope we just do our best. On it here, we win by point. Away we win. It means a lot to have clubs for kids with disabilities to be able to play football. And without that, um, a lot of kids like us wouldn't be allowed to be active and be able to participate in things that normal people can participate in. The, the main thing with, with our competition is that these guys at whatever level get a chance to, to play footy and to experience that team camaraderie. I just love footy. Yeah, good friends, Mike, here, yeah. yeah. Kick some goals. Kick some goals. And if I'm fast, and don't get stand there. Pick up the ball. Yeah, pick up the ball. No. And the idea is to give people who've got a disability a chance to play football in a competitive but, but safe competition. All the things that you learn in footy are, are things that you can apply to your life. You know, you get knocked down, you get up again, you, you ride the bumps, you, you keep going. They're, they're good messages for people who've got disabilities, who are on pensions, who don't have all the opportunities that perhaps other people get. This Sunday, we've got the biggest day our club's ever had. Really important, and it's really important that we play in the way we've played all year. And the football, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> we had the open where we played today. I'm excited. We're both excited. We need to be a club that strong and sticking together. We need to be a club that keeps growing, keeps developing. They're really important things for us because that's how we keep the club going. That's how we make sure there's always a game of football for someone who wants to play football who goes to a special school. So on Sunday when you come out to play footy, we're not just playing for this year, but we're playing for the whole future of our club. But the most important thing is that you bring yourself to the game on Sunday ready to play football. is we've got to believe we're in this. Let's do it because there's a long way before the next grand final. It's a long way before next season starts. So this is the day today, all right? This is it. Come on. This is it. We're here now. Let's get our hands in. Let's get our hands in. We're doing this for our club. We're doing it for ourselves. We're doing it for our team. On three. One, two, three. 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 At the end of the game, you just shake your hands and make lots of friends while you're playing. You get to, you know, talk to other people, you get to strengthen your skills, get you off the couch. It means a lot. It's, it's like, um, like we're all pretty much the same, so when, you know, everyone's sort of on the same wavelength, it's awesome because you're all there for the same reasons. Oh, mate, it's amazing. It's been a long time. Yeah, you know, it's really valuable to see these coaches, you know, train us and get us to where we are now. I think playing footy is one of those basic Australian things that we all kind of take for granted a bit. And for a lot of these guys, the opportunity to play juniors, the opportunity to play in a mainstream club isn't there. Just being able to play football 